One of the most frightening things you can think of is loss of memory. And we know that as we get older, uh, it becomes a bit more difficult to remember names and you know where you left your keys. Uh, that's kind of normal. But nevertheless, we would like to, to be able to battle that. And of course, there are all kinds of products out there that claim to do exactly that. There are literally hundreds of so-called memory supplements. And they advertise all kinds of things. They're antioxidants. They, they change the fluidity of cell membranes. They enhance neurotransmitter uh, effectiveness. All of those things, and they all have some theoretical justification, but what they don't have is any kind of evidence. But boy, are they ever good at marketing. Prevagen, for example, top seller. They tell you that it contains an extract, a protein from a jellyfish. Well, first of all, although the protein is found in jellyfish, the stuff that they have in there is actually made in the lab, not that that matters. But there's no evidence that that protein does anything. Like any other protein, it's going to be digested. It never gets into the brain. But they do a lot of inventive data mining of some studies that they have done, and they can isolate some subgroup of subjects, probably through some statistical quirk, show some benefit. So anyway, no, I, I don't think that there's anything to these supplements. But of course, there's a lot of talk about nutrition and foods as well, in terms of increasing mental performance. And there, there is something. For example, the Nurses' Health Study, this has been going on in the US since 1984, following thousands of nurses. They fill out questionnaires about what they eat and about their health status, their mental status, and they undergo memory tests to see how they are functioning. And there we're finding some really interesting stuff. For example, find that those ladies who during their middle age had sufficient protein intake, especially plant protein, do much better later on with their memory. So what do the researchers recommend? That when you're gonna have a snack, make it nuts. That's a good protein source. And for meals, well, plant protein. Things like beans, lentils, do that a couple of times a week instead of meat protein. But where we really get some interesting information is also from the Nurses' Health Study in terms of food components called flavonoids. So let's get rid of, of those supplements because they are useless. But what is not useless is what you are looking at here. Because those questionnaires showed that, that subjects who eat these kind of things, whether it be an orange or kiwi or apple or green pepper every day, they do better on memory tests. But the real champion are the berries. And uh, the evidence here is overwhelming, is that people who consume berries on a regular basis perform better on those memory tests. And there are a lot of studies out there about these, these things. I can't remember them all. Maybe I should eat some more blueberries.